Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Hey, Matoya, get your book. Now, would you kindly translate it for me? At least in engineer speak. We kind of got to ram this on the front of I an airship. I thought to behold this tome again. There. It is deciphered. Now your friends should be able to make sense of the contents. Hooray! That said, it's one thing to understand the workings of the etheric converger, and another to actually make it work. You do realize how much ether is required. But would that not be in the book? Sid is keenly aware of the energy dilemma. His airship is by no means large, and it can only bear a limited quantity of crystals. If only we had white orosite in the etheric siphon. Alas, Minfilia is missing along with both artifacts, and Moonbreeder is gone. Would that there were another ready wellspring of energy for us to draw upon. <gasps> Why did it not occur to us before? What? We already have what we need! The eye! That's right! It has been drawing ether into itself for as long as the great worms have lived! It is a veritable wellspring of energy! Hmm. It might just suit our needs. But is this energy something that can be harnessed at will? Uh, does Matoya- is, is she familiar with what exactly we're talking about here? I mean, probably, but- I believe so. With the aid of the Azure Dragoon of Ishgard. She probably doesn't care. Then it is settled. Let us return to the Holy See at once. Uh, guys, 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 the book is still on the table. Guys, book. Okay, you still has got this. Alright, fine. Cool. Be kind of shitty if we walked all the way back there and we're like, crap. Stuller. Wait. When did the light fade from your eyes? What? I might have known that it would not escape your notice. It has been this way since I returned from the live stream. An after effect of the teleportation magic I invoked, most like. They are called forbidden spells for a reason. What were you thinking, girl? Wow, even Matoya's calling her on this shit. Damn. This must be really forbidden if even she's like. Yeah, no, no, you shouldn't be doing that crap. I have no regrets. I but did what was necessary to preserve the light of hope, to keep my promise to Minfilia. Besides, it afforded me the rare opportunity to wander the ether, a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah, and it could have been your last experience had we not pulled you out. I need not tell you that it consumes your very life force to see by sensing the ether around you. Take care of yourself. Do you hear me? I will, Master Matoya. And thank you. then yeah she's kind of keeping a secret from us over here not that we know that yet yeah yeah don't do that okay just don't think out loud But well, we still have to actually, like, build this thing. And, like, how much time is that gonna take? Dude, it's 10 o'clock at night. Why the hell are there sirens? There's nobody on the road. 
Now, I don't know if Tutter's dialogue has changed. I know it didn't change in between episodes because I did already look, so. Nope, same thing. Okay. She looks so completely different with her hair down and not in the hat. Ah, oh, you guys are not in the office for us. Where the fuck is Estinian? You hastily wrote him out of the plot for a while because blah blah blah, Giovanni assault that we never seen or hear from again. And now we need him. Do you know where he is? Oh, awesome! Proper introductions! Oh, I love this. Dude, all we have to say is, where is Estinian? We need him. Like, Emmerich already kind of knows uh, what is going on here. We, we've kept him in the loop with this whole thing. Just say, yeah, we think we have the energy store. Sustinian has it up his butthole. Can we bother him? And that's it. We should probably have paid a, a visit to Sid first to start building this thing. Because bothering the crap out of Estinian to come help us isn't going to take that much time. Be like, yeah, here, here, Sid, here's the book. You start working on it. We're, we're, we, we, we've got the energy source. Kind of all sorted out. We just naturally need to, um, to, you know, go talk to some people to borrow it. So it'd be like, all right, I'll get started on this right now. Um, hi. Dude, he's standing right next to you. He probably heard that loud and clear. Ah, it does. Because I wasn't supposed to know that yet. You know, where do you keep getting the supplies to actually fix this up? I mean, like, Ishgard kind of employed you to fix their other airship, which, by the way, is still kind of sitting there and is a lost cause. But whatever. Yeah, that's a lot of text to slog through. Yeah, somehow I don't think we really care about reunions right now. Yeah, we're working on that, Sid. Working on it. See, that was fast. No, you're not late. It took you like 10 minutes to get here. That's more than reasonable. Yeah, we gotta kill those sons of bitches. Can we at least get them some coffee or something? Yeah, 
you know, why don't the rest of us actually help them? I thought everyone's just like, everyone is just standing around everywhere. Help them, damn it! Or at least try to help. Yeah, we're not worried about the price right now. Shola, what the hell are you doing over here? Yeah, all you really need to know is they killed my friend, okay? And they're after Oligon's secrets. I think that's reason enough to want to go after them, regardless of everything else. See, see, he's gonna be the smart one. He's gonna help Sid, you know, not Yastola, who, you know, studied under the very person who wrote this damn book. Hint, hint. I don't think anyone says anything. No, okay. Doesn't change. Dude, 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 it's fine. Blah, 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 bullshit. We need you in the city. Blah, 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 all that stuff. You know, the same thing we talked about several episodes ago and why I had to stay behind. And you couldn't come in us to go kill Nidhogg. Yeah, those same reasons apply right here, right now. Okay? I will do that. And I like how we actually have to say goodbye to Hilda, of all people, even though she's um, not really part of our ragtag group and she's obviously newly introduced. Hello, children. What's going on? Yeah, you probably think I'm ugly. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I will go say bye to my friends. Hi, Lucia. We're about to do something dangerous. Vicious luck. Oh! Wow! Okay. Okay, I really like you now. I mean, not that I didn't like you before, but... I think that's very sweet of her. Off on a dangerous mission. Take that stupid hat off. I don't like it. Okay. Alright, I'll do my best. We've done dangerous things before. I'm sure we'll be okay. Hey, you guys have names. Well, actually, did you have names after that battle work for the ball? I can't remember. But I do know we're cool now. So we're cool, guys, right? Yep. Yeah, we know. We know. It's okay. I will do that. We gotta kick his ass for everybody, okay? Better men of mankind and all that schmarm. Let me inside, please. Hey. You doing okay? Yeah, it's all right, it's what we do. Oh, no, no, too soon, guys, right in the fields. 
We're just right in the fields, man. Oh, that's so sweet. Now we can take him with us. Hi. No, but shouldn't you be helping Sid? I mean, you are dressed in his stuff. I don't think anybody's dialogue has changed, but... No, okay, it hasn't. Alright, just, just double-checking, double-checking. Yeah! Alright. You say anything different? No, okay. Alright, are we done yet? Can we go now? Getting a little antsy here. Why are we telling you Stola? Maybe because she's way the fuck over here? Be good on you, Estadian. It's like, I don't care how we get here, fuck those guys. Until but recently, the Ishgardians have kept their doors firmly shut to outsiders. Yeah, yeah, we know. We were here, remember? But thanks to you, we have found in them stout allies with whom we may fight to secure the future of the realm. Truly, you are the beacon of hope towards which all men are drawn. Spare us the hyperbole. Tis not for praise that we fight. Oh, you just got told. Oh? In light of all we have achieved, I felt it only meet to express my gratitude. Yeah, but all you're basically doing is being like, Oh, you're so awesome, you're the best, and that's not actually going to help me. Like, I can hear your praises all day long, but it still doesn't change the fact that I do what I do because it's the right thing to do, and it's also extremely fucking dangerous. All that we have achieved. <laughs> Spoken like a true outsider. Until the war is over, we have achieved nothing. The coming battle is a chance to excise the root of this conflict. And by my hand, it shall be done. Then, you may speak of achievement. T'was not mine intent to make light of your struggle. If I have given offense, then I apologize. But if I may speak freely, you would do well to be wary of the eye. Even now, it burns with insatiable hatred, watching unblinking for a sign of weakness. Should you falter for so much as a moment, it will surely consume you. Save your concern. I will consume the eye ere I let it consume me. See, Shola, now you pissed Stenning off. Okay, this is not a good idea. Twelve be praised. Thou hast not yet set forth. Yeah, I noticed how we didn't say goodbye to you two. Cross sand and snow have I journeyed, that I might deliver this gift unto thee. Why didn't you just call me and say, hey, I got something for you. Can you hold off for five minutes? White or a sight. But whence did it come? 
To mine amazement, it lay hid amongst Moonbreeder's last effects. Twas but blind chance or providence that I did hap to spy it. Let no man claim that my late friend Air erred for lack of foresight. Okay, I'm calling total bullshit on that, but for the sake of what's going on here, I'm gonna let it go. In the place whither thou goest, servants of darkness do lie in wait. Pray, give unto me thy pledge that thou wilt strike them down and avenge our fallen comrade. Yeah, now while Yastrola kind of has a point here, um, kind of taking shots at Astinian is not going to be the least bit helpful because even though he's our friend, he's got no obligation to her. He's got no obligation to any of this. He's here obviously for his own reasons and because, you know, we're cool with him and whatever. But without him, this ram is not going to fucking work at all. So making him be, like, he could just easily say, well, fuck you, I'm not going to help you anymore. I mean, he's probably not going to do that, but he can very easily do so. Without him, we are nothing. Don't be like, meh, 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 without, you know, the eye can consume you at any freaking moment here. Well, unless you got a backup plan, Yastrola, it's probably not a good idea to mention to the set right now. That is not our primary concern. See, now he's over here, and he's all mad. And even he's got a point. Like, unless we actually stop everything at the heart of this, like, everything is just doomed to repeat itself eventually. Like, you do need to take your victories while you can, but you can't become complacent in them. Ah, excellent timing. We've just finished our work on the Enterprise. She's so much improved, I've decided to give her a new name to suit. The Enterprise Excelsior. Or simply the Excelsior, if pressed for time. Okay, do we need to get the ribbon and a bottle of wine here too? Come on. Once again, she'll carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. All right, enough of the pop and circumstance. We have Archbishop to kill. All aboard! Yeah, guys, guys, time is really of the essence here. Let's move. I can do no more than see you off with prayers for your safety and success. When did you get here? And I'm glad you're here, but... Yet no, that wheresoever you may go, my son's spirit goes with you. May the fury grant you strength. Okay, wasn't that the symbolism behind you giving me the shield? Everybody's here. Return to us, all of you. Okay, sorry. Get no time for a group hug. Need to go kill some people. Okay, thanks. Bye. Enterprise Excelsior, engage. So I guess this be this be the voice activated model, huh? No, it's Kim. No last wave, guys. No blown kisses. All right, fine. Alright, well, let's hope this thing works, because we're pretty fucking boned if we if it doesn't. This is it! Get ready! Alright, fingers crossed, everybody. I 
of mine enemy. Render unto me thy power! Well, damn, sons. No, you will not claim me. I am the master. Come on, come on. Said, I don't think screaming works. But I'll be damned. We're through. y'all not fucking see this like you can't hide a ship that big chief we've got an imperial battleship on our tail and it's bleeding massive well score one for the imperials who have been sitting here patiently waiting knowing we would try to bust our way in it. The bastards were waiting for us to open the door for them. Yeah. He didn't even think this through. Although, to be fair, we didn't really have a choice. I'm gonna try to shake them. Hang on to something. We're all going to die! Tataru! Like seriously, we've been fucked six ways from Sunday ever since this third act started. She won't take much more of this. The time is come to use Heidlin's gift. Wait, what? Much blood has been spilled in my name. And for what? For a false cause that I created for want of the warmth of companionship. Saint Shiva, pray Svelga. Pray forgive this fool. But even now, I cannot let go of my dream. My dream of a tomorrow in which no child need freeze alone in the snow. Well, it seems they made up. Didn't see that coming. Light. 
still the hatred within our hearts and bless us with eternal grace! Oh, hell yes! Um, we might want to make her get away while she's distracting them. That, guys. Damn, she grew some serious balls. I mean, this is an Imperial warship she's taking on. Farewell, warrior of light, and thank you for showing me the way. This ether, it was a crystal of light. She too was one of Hydaelyn's chosen. Um, we already knew this. We've known this for a long time, Nistola. Where the fuck have you been? Like, before you got sucked into the live stream, we knew this. We knew this. Fare you well, my lady. Well, score one now for the other villain. Yeah, we're batting a thousand today. So yeah, we'll talk about what happened there in a few episodes when I actually have the time and the luxury to do so. No, what? No, seriously, I did not need to know that wedge. I know. Oh my god. Yes, we know.
Yeah, damn if she, if she didn't save our asses. Alright, not that I don't think you're being anything less than, than sympathetic and compassionate here, Yastola. But, at the same time, shut up. Well, Astinian's got a good guess, but that's actually not what really happens, but there's no way for him to know that, so... But yeah, like, Yastrola doesn't really- I mean, I know we've probably filled her in a little bit on what's happened, but... You know, she didn't walk the path, you know, up on this journey like like we did. So she doesn't really know what kind of person she, you know, Azel was. Because, well, frankly, you totally never met her. I mean, again, I, I, I know she's trying to be sympathetic and compassionate and everything like that. And, and that's fine in the moment. But it's, it's absolutely just completely downplayed by the fact that th they're complete strangers, you know? So this is our final zone in the game, as is law. Yeah, we'll see it through, don't worry. An ominous presence, huh? What? No, 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 I wanna talk to Sid. Target Sid, thank you. Yes, but we're gonna have to talk strategy next time as I hit level 60. So, yeah. Again, we'll, we'll talk about what just happened in, in a couple episodes. But thank you for watching, friends.